I don't seem to find too much stuff at thrift stores anymore. I will go ahead and go. Usually I go to Savers because it's just up the hill from work. I might get off work and my travel time up the hill to the next city gobbles into how much longer they are open. So I have to run through the store. When I get in there, I have to go to the restroom. I'm always worried about what other people are going to buy because I didn't get to it. Not worried about the entire day going by from when it opened up at 11 o'clock or whatever that someone's getting all the goodies. Just when I walked in the door, like when I was little and I'd have to run for the toy aisle because someone was just going to buy that one thing I had to have. I didn't even know if it was in the store or not. So I went to the DVD section and I was perusing through and happened to find Hill Street Blues. I used to love this show. I would watch it with my parents. Later on after high school, it went into repeats and then I never got to see it again. I got season one. I don't remember who was releasing it, but it was early 2000s, and it just quit. It didn't go on. And I opened this up and went through all of the discs. They are immaculate. I just noticed that any other time, they would have $2.99 on their discs, even if it was a complete season. And I thought, oh, $3 more. Why would I let that stop me? I can't find this anywhere. I think it's probably on Amazon or some other streaming service, and I don't want to stream. I don't want to have to go find my favorite show and invest money or time in your streaming service just to watch a TV show. Only one of them. I looked out and found all seven seasons from 1981 until 1987 of the wonderful show known as Hill Street Blues. Now I can crawl into a deep, dark cave and never, ever go to work. I don't have to worry about stepping out into this strange world. I will poop myself and eat all of these blankets if I have to. To finish seasons one through seven, of Hill Street Blues. I also was reminded by my daughter about Conan the Barbarian that she recently watched. Hey, Conan the Barbarian. Thought I should check on the condition of the disc, opened up the case, and there was a strange foggy image of some Asian lady that I'd never seen before. It's weird. Why is it all... It doesn't even say Conan on it. And what... Who is this character? I don't remember her. Spun it around, and it said filthy porn stuff on it. What? I reached over to grab another Schwarzenegger that was in the same vicinity, opened it up. Sure enough, another delightful, I mean horrible filth thing that should be disposed of that no one should ever watch. As I'm going through the DVDs and all the cool big movies, blockbusters, opened it up, spun it around. Dirty picture, absolutely filthy. Dirty, dirty picture. And I thought, how can I take care of this for them so they don't have to worry about anybody finding it that might be offended by it? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's, that's what I was thinking. Out of curiosity, I just kept pulling disc after disc after disc. And eventually I had a stack bigger than my Hill Street Blues videos. I had to put them down and I thought, this is ridiculous. How can I get up to the register and buy all of this horrible, horrible pornography to take home? I mean... How can I dispose of this and get this away from the world? This horrible, horrible stuff with round figures and dirty activity. How can I dispose of this? Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. I walked around with that pile like this and hugged the Hill Street Blues because I had just heard, we're closing soon, which is always... <laughs> Every thrift store does that when they're going to close. They have a microphone in which to give more volume projectors. I found a clerk running from the back. I said, excuse me, can I show you something that you might be, you might be interested in? Which right off the bat, that could go either way. And be like, no, I'm not interested in that. Or, hey, let's talk. So I said, I don't know if anyone is going to want to pick these movies out. I don't think a child's going to pick out these movies. The disc in the case is not the movie. When they come in in the back, we don't check them. They usually check them at the register. And I said, well, what about this? And she went, oh my. I was wondering if somebody was thinking, well, you know, uh, mom and dad are on this. We gotta get rid of these uh, discs somehow very quickly. Or the wife is probably like, oh yeah? You need to disguise your videos? Well, guess what, buddy? It could have been someone playing a prank. I said, well, I just wanted to let you know and bring it to your attention. You're closing soon. I want these, and this is what I found. And I looked and looked and looked, and I thought maybe you would like to know about this right away and go through your DVDs. 
I did not investigate into the DVD matter to see if there was any more that I could have. I mean, that I should take to the register or bring to their attention to get rid of that horrible, horrible filthiness and have it destroyed so that we don't have to burn our earth that we live on. The important part, I have these.